The UAE state-owned renewables company Mazda launching a $6 billion project capable of producing one gigawatt of uninterrupted clean power. It's the world's first 24-7 solar photovoltaic and battery storage gigastel project in Abu Dhabi. Speaking at the Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week, the UAE Minister of Industry and Advanced Technology, ADNOC CEO and Mazda Chairman Sultan Al Jaba called it a significant step in the country's renewable push. This will for the first time ever transform renewable energy into base load energy. It is a first step that could become a giant leap. I spoke exclusively to Mazda's CEO, Mohammed Al Ramahi, about the project. Listen in. We have been working on this project for almost a year with our uh, colleagues at uh, the uh, Emirates Water Electricity Company, who is the sole off-taker of electrons in uh, Abu Dhabi. So this project is not just a theory. This project is not just a concept. It was a concept. Today it's real. Um, construction will start this year. Uh, the project uh, time schedule uh, to be commissioned in uh, 2027 uh, and that will ultimately provide clean renewable energy resources like I said on a base load with a capacity of one gigawatt just imagine that so the largest solar field in the world 5.2 gigawatt of solar power generation coupled and integrated with an energy storage system like no other 19 gigawatt hour energy storage system that will be governed and managed through a smart integrated solution to allow dispatchability at any point of time during the day or night. That's the beauty of the system and, and the greatness of the system that it, this is something that has been talked about as a concept. It has never been done before at this scale. So today, again, the UAE and Abu Dhabi creates, announce, and a break ground of something unprecedented at scale that will provide sustainable clean energy resources at competitive commercial terms. This project, Dan, will cost around six billion US dollars. So it is a super giga project. As you know, we live in a world where 80% of the energy mix is still dominated by fossil fuels. And some of the latest scientific research tells us that 2025 could be the hottest year on record. So what is the opportunity for projects like the one that we're seeing coming out of the UAE today to scale globally, to alleviate global climate goals and to, to build on global climate goals and to alleviate the climate challenge? Absolutely, Dan. I mean, climate challenge is serious and it's real. And we, today we sit here in Abu Dhabi and when you look at the west coast of the United States in California, I mean, it's a, honestly, it's a devastating, really. And that's because it's dry weather, okay? And it's, the impact of that is catastrophe. So it's real, it's happening all over the world. Uh, these projects ultimately will help reduce CO2 emission. Our objective to tackle climate challenge is to reduce CO2 emissions, to ultimately achieve carbon neutrality, or what we call net zero. And the net zero target was established either by governments, they have signed off on these commitments, like our country here in the United Arab Emirates, like other countries around the world, but also some big corporations have signed off on the net zero targets, which is very important. So you have governments that have signed off on these commitments. You have corporations and companies that have signed off on these commitments. And projects like the ones that we are building, we are developing in over 40 countries around the world will help ensure that we reduce the CO2 emissions. But Mazdar is only one player. And yes, we have gone and we have evolved into one of the largest renewable energy companies in the world. But our, our contribution really matters. But honestly, it takes hundreds of Mazdar to ensure that we meet our targets that everybody has signed off on. Mm.